What's up boys and girls on YouTube? So in this video today, we are going to be taking a look at the new demo drop from the upcoming Christian video game, Bible X. From the clips and pictures I've seen so far, this looks phenomenal. I'm super excited, and I actually finally get to get my hands on some juicy gameplay, so it's gonna be great. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and do that, turn on notifications, and if you don't even know what this game is, maybe this is the first time you've heard of it, check out some of the videos in the video description below, where you can actually learn more about the video game project. So let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. I'm committing the act of extraction. Should I click the button? Do I take the risk? Do I take... Bible X Beta, produced by BCC. Everyone loves BCC Media, man. They're the, the best. Log in. Oh, I have to register. That's kind of cool, though. You have to set up an account. I don't know that I've ever seen maybe one or two Christian video games where you had to actually set up an account. But uh, hey, that's that's pretty impressive, actually. All right, let's play the demo. I like the I like the home screen. It's it's very visually pleasing. The music is nice. Seems to be loading in pretty quickly. Good to see you. Welcome to my headquarters. I spend pretty much all my time here, so we might as well call it my home. Can I click stuff? This is pretty. This is pretty amazing. This looks very good. All right, can I interact with anything? E to interact. Last year I was disconnected from the state power supply and left to my oh, own no. devices. After two months of my grandfather's old generator, I made my own power supply out by Who is this guy? Robinson Crusoe? Come on, let's go. Can you sprint? Yeah, I guess. He seems to be kind of running a little bit faster. All right, second story. Got some old rusty machine. Can you jump? You cannot jump. At least not with the normal control. This is kind of cozy. I like cooking, but it gets a bit boring just cooking for myself. Maybe someday we can cook something Who, together. Who, me and you? I don't know if that's going to work if this game is set in 2070. Also, I don't like how it freezes you when he has his dialogue. If you're like a really antsy player like me and you want to move around while he's talking. Ter Terra. Terra TV. I'm not sure if that means anything. I think Terra is just Latin or it's either Latin or Spanish for Earth. I think it's Latin. All right, this is, yeah, this is kind of, what is this, a cannon? It's some, I don't know what that is. All right, this is, like I said, though, very kind of, a very kind of cozy, cozy map. But this dude legit just has, like, all this stuff from, like, the Temple of Israel, okay? I'm not sure what's going on. I guess these are, like, their artifacts they've gathered from time traveling. Are you supposed to try time travel and steal things from the past? I would think not. All right, I kind of want to explore some more, but I feel like I need to talk to this guy. I have to be on guard the whole time, so that no D-Force agents Who is find their way in here. So they... Let's put it this way. They have an enormous interest in stopping what oh, we're doing here. Oh, so you're like spying on stuff, I see. What's up, dude? Hey, Hector. I love how his mouth isn't even moving. Against D-Force. Hey there, I've been waiting for you. Oh, oh, you I guess, okay, the one, I was the one talking. Here. I want you to travel back to a very significant event. This is going to be really crucial for us. We're ready. Where are we going this time? We're going to Passover in the year 33. That Passover? Yes, that Passover. The one where Jesus was arrested and crucified. What he did and said before these events took place, that's what we want to experience to better understand his mission in Jerusalem. This will help us to stand up to the false accusations against our faith here in Terapolis. It won't be easy though. Remember, Jesus is not very popular among the Romans and Pharisees. And his wow, disciples looks like will be watching over him carefully. The co color correction is the here is uh, very, very interesting. To approach Jesus. Hector, I'm excited. Let's get going. All right, I'm going to turn you into an avatar that should blend right into Jerusalem. I'm going to be turned into an avatar. Good luck and hold on. To all right, we're about to go in there. All right. E to time travel, let's go. Here we dun, go. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome to Adventures in Odyssey. Oh, wrong, wrong world. I kind of like how it has the, the little Bible verses when the screen, when it's uh, on the loading screen. So There's a nice way to brush people up on scriptures. All right, let's see what happens. We're going back 
to the year 33. So that is, let's see if I can do quick maths because you know I'm all about that. So that is 2,000 minus 11 years, so 1,989 years. Okay. It's lagging a little bit, but not too badly, and that could easily be my PC. Very important time, Passover. This is the greatest celebration. Of this is gorgeous. And hundreds of thousands of oh, yes. in memory of their deliverance from Egypt and to offer sacrifices in the temple. Wow. It's a totally electric atmosphere. I can actually hear the. It sounds like Harry city, Potter. But I am the chosen one. Okay, sorry. All the way up here. Yeah, you totally can. Does it sound like it's coming from the Golden Gate? See if you can figure out oh. what's going on. Let me loose. Let me. Oh, let me loose. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this is. This is just the demo. This isn't even the actual game. This is just the demo. All right, levitating trees. Nice. Everyone loves levitating trees. This is. I mean, I've seen finished games that don't look this good. What happens if I stand in their way? I all, I'm always looking for ways to just break this system. Okay. So I'm I'm basically positively invisible. They cannot see me. I'm like Bilbo Baggins with the ring. I literally don't exist. What was the point of me dressing up if like they don't even see me? Wait, there's a house over here. Maybe they have food. Okay, now you can jump. Let's see if I can jump over this fence. Bring. Oh come on! I'm about to make the game crash, going off course like this. What's up, peoples? How you doing? Uh, from 2,000 years in the future, and yeah, I'm invisible, I guess. Alright, I think I need to get back on, on course to what I'm actually supposed to be doing. Oh, I'm stuck! Bunch of apples, apple crates. Alright, here's a bridge. Look at this. This looks good. This looks really good. This is... I am absolutely 100% impressed. I hope this game studio lasts till the end of time and just keeps making video games after this one if they all look this good. You're just really watching this and playing this and I'm just taken away with the scope. It, it actually feels like you're there. It, it actually feels like you're running around in ancient Israel. It's amazing. It's just running very smooth. Like normally, a game would have bugged out or crashed hey Max, or something. Look out for the guards. Make sure to hide behind some obstacles to avoid their line of sight. Uh, I can't fight them. You I can guess. throw rocks at something that makes noise to distract them. Should I just run into them? What happens if I? All right. Again, I want to break the system. Where do I get a rock? Oh, right here. I'm about to hit this dude. It didn't work. Who's There's that? someone here. They're way better than the guards from Catechumen. Run! Get out of here! Oh, I think they just saw me too. I nice turned job. red. But Welcome I was to the too Temple fast. In Jerusalem, year 33. <laughs> this is beautiful. Now see if you can find some empty, familiar faces around but here. But it's absolutely Feel beautiful. Feel free to explore and pick up some scrolls along the way. All right, I'll do that. Scrolls. Probably like some Bible verses. Yeah, it feels a little bit empty. Maybe that's actually what the, I mean, I've never been to the Temple Mount in 33 AD, so. What you looking at? I'm not bothering anyone. Jump, jump. All right, where are we going to? Must be someone over here. Ah, you can't jump over a wall. How you doing, buddy? Uh, sure. All right, what we got going on? Ah, I knew it. We're finally going to get rid of these miserable Romans. Yeah, nor do I, Petros. But I still think we should have paid that farmer for borrowing his donkey. He was born, uh, you know. Relax, Yehuda. That donkey was used for an incredibly worthwhile cause, you know. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, wow. Good voice, That's actually. actually Judas and Peter. Oh. It looks like they're going to exchange some money at one of the uh, booths here. Exchange money? Why? Well, the Jews use Roman coins in Israel these days. 
Because those coins have pictures of Caesar stamped on them. And people reckon outside idolatry, so they can't be used in the temple. Hmm. So I the money changes here are actually necessary for the people to be able to make offerings in the temple. Yeah, absolutely. However, the problem is that both the money changers and priests at the temple are taking advantage of the opportunity to make more money out of this business than they mm. should. And that's where Jesus comes in and flips the table. I'll take this one. <clears throat> A very good afternoon to you, sir. We have traveled a long way, and we're looking forward to a wonderful Pesach celebration in the morning with a delicious Pesach lamb. That dude looks so... And of course, we oh, need to pay our temple tax already. as well. Can you give us a good exchange rate for our Roman coins today? Four to one. Four to one? But you can't be serious! But last year it was we will, two we to will, one. We will find another place, Yehuda. It can't have doubled. Get away. I told you that dude was just done with it before he even Hi. started. Who are you? You're one of Pilate's spies, aren't you? No, no, no. no. no, no. I'm a don't friend. beat me up, please. Don't mug me. Uh, I don't have any. Friend. I don't We've think never you can seen use before. US dollars. Uh, actually, I know you, but you probably don't know me. And... Max, focus. I, pr okay. I promise. What I'm trying to say is that I'm really good at exchanging money at the right rate. And I can help you get uh, good value for your money. What a scam! So typical! You're one of so those Kevin, wretched little... If you're so good, I'll give you a challenge. See if you can exchange this at a rate money? of two to one. Because he says he can do a it? A deal! I'll be right back. <laughs> two to one? You know he'll never be back with that money. You're thinking crash He's probably one. just as slippery as everyone else in this place. I've got a feeling he'll be back. The cuts, I mean, you can tell they put so much work into these cutscenes. The dialogue is actually engaging. All right. I'm not, I, I really don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's just run over here and see if we can figure this out. All right, what do I do? Oh, this is kind of clever. So I'm actually moving the pieces so I can run through here. And I'm trying to get where? Oh, so I guess I'm going to that person. Okay. So I had it then already. Alright, let's see. Is that what I'm doing? Is that what I'm doing? Uh, that's last year's price, my friend. Four to one is my suggestion. Fine, be that way. Do I have to get back out of here? There we go. Alright, do I load the next board now? I'm clueless. I don't know what I'm doing. Help. I guess that's fine. You can Come have on. it for two to one. I knew I had it in me. I knew I did. All right. Wait, uh, what? There. There we go. Check me out. All right, now we go back, and hopefully I'm done with my phone. Oh, that was kind of fun, though. Okay. I'm just glad I didn't have to download another app on my phone. I won. I got points. Let's go. Hey, sorry, sorry it took so long, but uh, here you go. Two to one. Would you take a look at that? Oh, As my good friend that. would say, here is truly an Israelite in whom there is no yep. deceit. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks a lot. That's uh, very well done. Uh, what is your name again? My name Joe is Max. Oh. And I. Hey, you stop! Come on! I knew no, it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna you. happen. Ah. It's Jesus himself. Let's go. <laughs> Get him. Rabbi. It's him again. Calm down, Jethro. Is it not written? My house should be called a place of worship for all nations. But you, you have made it a place where robbers hide. Come on, you. We have to go. Well, Max, we have to run, but it was nice meeting you. Hopefully we'll see you around. I really like the character for Peter. He's well oh, modeled. Yeah. Uh, Voice. I really like Peter. 
and all nations? Uh, we can't just let anyone come in here to worship God. Uh, he is creating chaos Zev. around the whole city. You sound kind of prideful, Zev. We've got to get rid of him. That's not a good idea, Zev. Don't do it, Zev. Quest complete! Let's go. All right, what's next? I completed the demo. All right, that's the demo. Let's go. That was good. That was good. All right, all right. So I finished playing through the demo, and actually off camera, I went back and, and actually played another 30 minutes or so more fully experiencing the world because I, I wanted to actually know everything that I could know about this this demo and fully experience the game to be able to give my, my full thoughts on what I, as a gamer, enjoyed about the demo and what I did not because I'm absolutely blown away way by the work that you guys have done and I absolutely want you to succeed I want this game to be profitable I would love for you guys to make millions off of this game would absolutely love for this game to reach millions in a nutshell the demo was absolutely phenomenal by almost every metric measurable this was one of the most detailed powerful and most wonderfully crafted Christian video games that, that I've ever seen I've never seen anything like this before the scope and the detail and the visual beauty is unparalleled like I first want to start out this summary by saying every person on the Bible X team needs to be giving themselves a pat on the shoulder because you guys have done wonderful and if this is what the finished product looks like I'm absolutely going to be head over heels for it so to kind of elaborate on some specific elements that I liked before I talk about what I think needs to be a little bit different or just what needs to be added first of all the map is absolutely gorgeous it has a very open world feel to it in a way I've not seen in Christian video games before and it's absolutely massive eventually the demo caps off the limits of where you're able to explore and I pushed the limits in a couple areas because I wanted to explore. I love breaking the system. I wanted to explore as much as I could. And so I, I explored and really experienced the world and it's absolutely massive. It feels real life, like the actual scope of the real world is real. It actually feels like I'm there. The map actually showed there were some areas they're working on and fleshing out even further that are not even explorable yet. Like there's a whole city section that I couldn't explore. That just gets me excited to experience even more of the map, seeing how beautiful it is already and I can't wait to experience more of it. The graphics are, are visually phenomenal. The voice acting and cutscenes, whoever's in, in charge of working with the actors and the writers is doing a phenomenal job here. I, I know animating cutscenes is not easy and, and you guys make it look easy. I mean, you're just a notch below triple A video games when it comes to the animation. So that's what I like. And when I talk about the more cons, it's not so much what I don't like because everything that was in the game, I like. There wasn't really anything where I played the game and I was like, I don't like that, take it out. More, it's here's what I think needs be put into the game and, and here's the biggest point and this is something I voiced a while ago when I first saw some of the demos and I was talking about I don't know if the gameplay is all there and what I mean by that it really feels in a lot of ways like a running simulator where I'm just running from one point to another in this linear storyline which is great but it, it leaves the story feeling a little bit thin and unfleshed out so what most video games will do to compensate to flesh out a storyline and actually add more gameplay so you're not just running from one story point to another is they'll add a combat system. You'll have like part of the storyline and then you run out and fight some baddies. Well, obviously this game is not going to have a combat system. I understand that. To me, it wouldn't even be logical to have a combat system in, in a video game like this where you're like meeting with Jesus and then you go out and kill people. Like that doesn't even make sense. So a combat system is, I think, mostly out of the book. So I was kind of thinking it needs something that makes the open world more interactive because I was running through the open world and it was beautiful, but there was nothing I could do. There was this one side quest where I helped a shepherd find a sheep that was cool I enjoyed it but outside of that largely the world feels like I cannot interact with it so I was trying to think what can you do to make the world more interactive where the player wants to explore it and also makes it feel like it and like they're actually there in the world and there are things to do in the world and so I looked at some different games for possible inspirations and I found this one game I've never played it before but it looks like a very close reference as far as on a gameplay scale not graphically but on a gameplay scale that game is yonder the cloud Catcher Chronicles, they have this system of, of resource gathering and crafting. And I think it works in this game because there's no combat. You have to give the players a mechanic, something to do beyond running from one avatar to another and talking to people. You have to give them a system of something to do. So they have a system where you're running around picking up resources, sticks, boulders, apples, whatever it is. And you can use those resources to craft with, to perform quests and missions. Just something that allows you to be immersed in the 
world beyond just the storyline. That's what this game needs. And so several ideas I had to specifically implement that, a system where you're able to gather resources so you can run throughout the world and everywhere you go, there's sticks to pick off the ground. There's apples to pick up. Maybe you could go fishing or even a gardening planting system. But if the devs do not object, if you guys don't object to a system where it actually feels like you're kind of living in the world, you can even go as elaborate as finding hotels and houses to stay in and allow the player to more fully feel like, oh, I'm actually there in this world. And at that point, they're invested. This is my home away from home inside of this video game world. I think it would be really cool to have like a shop system, maybe not in the temples because that's kind of part of the storyline of why Jesus was so upset. But obviously there's towns and villages surrounding the temple and it'd be cool to kind of have this hub where the player goes to like this home station. I think this game would very much benefit from an RPG system. So you have leveling up where you perform quests, missions, and obviously there are some side quests, but not all quests actually need to be as elaborate as helping a person find all of his sheep and bring them back to a sheepfold. That's a great quest, but quests don't actually have to be that elaborate. I mean, I've seen triple A video games where they have so many quests where you know they can't animate cutscenes for all of them because there's so many quests and you run up to them and there's not even voice dialogue for them. It's just text on the screen. That's not a bad thing. You want to give the players as many quests as they can possibly have so there's always more things to do. You want to always make them feel like there's something else that I need to do so I need to play this game some more. And so you want an elaborate quest system. It can be as simple as you talk to someone, they're not even voice dialogue, but text pops up on the screen and they say, I've got family visiting. I need dinner for them. Could you go gather wheat or apples or something and bring it to me. So you have this quest system where everywhere you go, there's people to talk to and things to do. That's what you need to implement. So the player knows wherever they are on the map, there's something to experience and immerse themselves into the world. So definitely add a coin and currency system where you do quests and people pay you with, you know, coins and currencies and you're able to use those coins and currencies to purchase items. And this is kind of just a random thought aside from that. A mini map overlay would be great. So you don't have to pull open the whole map each time. So you can kind of see the map while you're running. And also I noticed this is to be expected, but some of the map areas felt incomplete, especially the temple. A lot of the areas felt empty and that's to be expected because I know you guys are still working on fleshing out the map. So I know that was a lot. I just said a lot and I know you guys are already on a schedule to release this in 2023, but it may be difficult to implement all of those ideas that I had, but it, that would absolutely take your game from being phenomenal to being, oh my goodness, I have got to play this game. I got to play this. So anyway, that's my thoughts. I want to see this become the biggest Christian video game of all time. It has the potential. I said, let's see it happen in Jesus name. So anyway, thanks everyone for watching this video. That's my long ramble. I, I'm, I'm really encouraged by what I see it. I want to hear what everyone who's watching this video thinks. What are your thoughts? Comment below. Let's get the chat blowing up. With that said, can't wait to hear from anybody watching this video. You guys have an awesome day.